Okay, so for this video we're going to be talking about company logos and for the first one we're going to be talking about Universal. So have you got any first so, input? Well, the fact that Universal's logo is a planet mm -hmm. Earth, I think it links to the idea that it's a global company, which yeah. I think is really clever. Yeah, yeah, so it really sort of gets the point across as it. Um, it's for everyone everywhere. Yeah, as well. and so that also comes across in their films where they do loads of different genres. So mm -hmm. it's got Baywatch, for example, and yeah. it's got all the way over to Annie, uh, no, Annabelle. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. So both two different genre films yeah. where Baywatch is action comedy and Annabelle is just yeah. horror. Yeah, so we could almost say that for Universal, it's Universal as in it's all. Over oh, the world and global, of genres. and yeah, and Universal as it covers absolutely yeah. to pretty much almost every genre. Yeah, so that's a good thing. Um, what about the the actual design of it as well? Because the Earth seems to be sort of glowing as well, so that could probably so, yeah, yeah, suggest yeah. that um, you know that they want to keep it bright and you know keep people interested in what's going on as they always have new things coming about. Yeah, well, with their first um, logo as well. Mm -hmm. It was a plane coming. One of the first logos. It was a plane coming across the screen, but it's still the world. It was mm -hmm. the globe spinning. Yeah. But it wasn't as extravagant, extravagant as it is now, and elaborate as it is now. Yeah. Where now you do see kind of different spikes coming up, with, from the planet Earth, mm. which I think kind of links to the spike of interest. Oh, okay. Yeah, so cool. it's kind of that idea of it. Yeah. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, and I feel like the the actual text of it is quite uh, significant. So it's just bold, really it? bold, yeah, so it's very much in your face, so it's really getting you to, you know, recognise what, 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 company what is. the company so is. So yeah. to make it yourself yeah. known. And, yeah, and almost, because even before that text come up, comes up, uh, just by the globe, and just looking at the earth, you can sort of, you, you can sort of straight away tell, you know, what company is being behind even this Even by video. the music, yeah. it's such a... Very well, impactful, yeah, well known as well. motive of the yeah. company. Yeah. So the next one we could look at is maybe Fox, uh -huh. where it's kind of pretty much very much based around the idea of the theme tune, where everyone knows it, mm -hmm. and it's also being kind of parodied in maybe like The Simpsons, for example, yeah. when The Simpsons movie where they get the character Ralph to kind of do it. Mm -hmm. I think that's quite clever how they can manipulate it in such a way to kind of link to the film. Yeah, yeah, I agree actually, and I think again, like many of the logos that we'll be talking about, along with Universal. They're all quite, they're very well known, as in, so all of the films that we usually see nowadays are being backed up by quite large companies, even mm. if it's an independent, with Ex Machina, for example, what yep. we did last year, um, that had also tied in with Universal, and yeah. then it uh, showcased some of the some of the other Universal uh, films that they also backed up, Yeah, which I think is quite interesting. Yeah, so... Another one I really want to talk about is Disney because mm -hmm. some ideas behind that they've got this kind of structure that it is the Cinderella's house kind yeah. of so castle. even that's yeah Cinderella's castle so already that's linking to one of their earlier films yeah. but if you look at different films they have different sort of styles styles to how so it, yeah. we've said parts of the Caribbean it's a darker kind of style of the it's still the same logo but they've mm. made it they've changed the colours a bit so it links more to the pirate theme mm -hmm. of Pirates of the Caribbean and then with I think it's Bambi they have like snow where the like firework goes across the screen yeah. it's um snow instead so then as it's going down the fonts kind of go all fro frosty which I think is a really cool effect yeah. that they've done yeah that's cool and also because uh, isn't it some of it's so I mean they're all animated but isn't it some of them look very realistic but then there's a few that yeah, are just sort of Flat two D. Yeah, the flat two D ones they were the, stopped the first in nineteen ninety seven. So the after that they brought in the first film that you see the three D one in is Toy Story, mm. which is when they first brought out their new one. Yeah. But they've then since they still kept the same idea, but then they've gone they've back just built to, on it. Yeah. Yeah. So I think the most recent one was the new Beauty and the Beast, mm -hmm. where they come out of the castle and it's the actual castle in the film so it's still linking and I think they just play with the idea that it's a castle yeah which is the logo so yeah yeah no I th yeah I think that's cool and um, also with all the with how they display it they never even with Pirates of the Caribbean they never make it look sort of scary because obviously it's such a 
family yeah. sort of renowned it company. Is a Disney film, yeah. which you know as a family. Yeah, company. so they always sort of sort of make it look seem fun as well. So yeah. it's fun for everyone. So yeah. that's what um, uh, what well, Disney so actually well, wanted. It's yeah. kind of the, the ethos is on the lines of linking to family. Yeah, and making it and all the film time it's been mm -hmm. a family friendly film yeah, starting yeah. with Snow White yeah no, I agree yeah that's good 